As a stylist, I've been lucky enough in my career to travel the planet. Through my travels, I met some interesting people, seen some amazing places, and found inspiration all along the way. Join me as I make new friends, seek out inspiration, and leave a trail of hair behind. I'm Colin Caruso, and this is Style Trip. On this episode of Style Trip, we travel to the island of Aloha to meet up with industry icon Angus Mitchell. For Angus, hairdressing is in his DNA. To say his bloodline is strong would be an understatement. Angus is not only an amazing hairstylist himself, he also is the son of the late great hairdressing legend, Paul Mitchell. Join us as we take a trip through paradise to see Angus Mitchell's Hawaii and learn more about the incredible journey of a family hair care company that has done well simply by doing good. Our story begins in a small white hut on the beach in Waimanalo. The most amazing memories have always been right here in this spot. Yeah. And that was pre-Paul Mitchell, where he was recharging his batteries, where he could rethink what he wanted to do for the future of the hair business and the hair industry. This is where it's it rad. all started. My father had started the company and it fell flat on its face. It was called PM. It was such a hippie line. Shampoo One was called Tea and Lemon. The conditioner was called Dream Cream. And I think the corporate company was based out of New York while my dad was living right here. Right on. My dad was on his last dollars. Uh, John Paul was on his last few dollars. And together they scraped up whatever they could to be able to create what is now John Paul Mitchell Systems. And, uh, you know, to be sitting here after 30 years of Paul's passing and uh, the 39 years of our business, I mean, I can't tell you how proud I am. Feeling inspired and hungry, we head to Buzz's Steakhouse, a Mitchell family staple and iconic island favorite since 1962. We got you a famous Buzz's Mai Tai. Ooh, my favorite. Enjoy. Salute, my man. A Kole oh Maluna. A Kole Maluna. Ooh, nothing like a Buzz's Mai Tai. <laughs> um, guys, this is such an exciting day. You know, what makes Buzz's such a unique, wonderful experience is this is really the place that my father and my grandmother and I would come and it's the last restaurant, the most iconic restaurant on this beautiful beach. When I like to um, reflect back on who Paul was and where his life started in Scotland and earning all of his competitions and winning them and making his way to London and being able to work with Vidal. And then Vidal chose my dad actually to open up the first Sassoon Salon and manage that in New York City. Wow. So it was part of the British invasion and fashion and makeup and Music and rock and roll was just at its top peak. And the wash and wear hair, they had liberated women from rollers, and that's what Paul was famous for. Yeah. And the super hair was his education center. And back in those days, he was actually creating and making shampoo out of beakers for individual clients. And so he was already pioneering individual shampoos before he even knew that it was a direction that he wanted to go. It's kind of like how we are. We're all hair nerds and they would do classes and they would stay up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning wow. doing classes wow. and really getting intense on every detail. Yeah. If it was hair cutting, if it was perming, yeah. if it was hair color, and they really got into, okay, well, how can we best benefit with product individually for each client? Yeah. But then, of course, at that time, it just got to a place where he just burnt out. Yeah. And coming to Hawaii was the place that just completely got him to unplug. When you came here, was Paul Mitchell the hair care product company in existence, or when did that all come about? You know, I think it began to come about when my father began to want to come back into the industry. But I think really what made it magical is Paul Mitchell products never really came out because it was a new type of shampoo. It was a new way of doing business. And the way that he saw it was this amazing sticky setting lotion called sculpting lotion. And it was a way to help hairdressers spend less time blow drying hair if you could just set them down and do a simple finger wave or pin curl set, then that would give them a nice wet look. And then throughout the day, they could slowly brush it out and it would come out in a nice, soft, looser look. Yeah. Reducing the low dry time yeah. and being able to work on more clients. Always hairdresser first, always thinking about the hairdresser. Yeah. And that's starting here. 
what do we have in store on this trip? We're all excited to be here. We want to see your Hawaii. What, what can we expect? This is something that really means a lot to me and to my family. You know, the history of the places I'm going to take you is going to be fantastic. We're going to have an amazing time. But first, let's go in the back and I'll show you how to make these amazing buzzes Mai Tais. And I'm going to tell you, this is the way that they used to make it back in the Elvis days in the 50s and 60s. It's easy to see how Buzzes has captured the hearts of locals, tourists, and presidents alike. How are you? It's Friday. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. Friday. Friday. Yeah. So we're all doing Mai Tai Day. To Buzzes, thank you for having us. Now that we've learned the not-so-secret recipe for Hawaii's favorite cocktail, let's head over to the other side of the island to discover more about how two industry renegades turned four Paul Mitchell products into the number one brand in styling globally, John Paul Mitchell Systems. This was probably the second year that Paul Mitchell was birthed, and this was the first time he was able to actually get the credit to buy this house. We used to joke around that he was the short-haired hippie, so, you know, he always had these avant-garde ideas of self-sufficiency, uh, creating this vegetarian farm. How did the brand get started? Well, my father and John Paul met. Together, those two were just so dynamic. John Paul being a door-to-door -door salesman, my father being the artist, and both of them having amazing personalities. People fell in love with these two. They were the dynamic duo. And uh, to be able to see what they were able to do and build in such a short time, people thought that there was no way that we could have ever succeeded. And look at us today. It's pretty amazing. So we started in Waimanalo, and Paul has his original company, Meets JP, and now all of a sudden, we birth Paul Mitchell, the company. We end up here. What's happening in this era? Well, you know, uh, when he met John Paul and uh, they had established a company, our corporate headquarters was in LA, but this was really where all of the creative things were happening for my dad. After hearing a bit about the Awapui farm, we wanted to fly into Hilo on the Big Island to take a closer look for ourselves. Since its origin in 1980, the Awapui farm has been ahead of its time. Not only is the farm an extraordinary example of environmental consciousness, it's also the place John Paul Mitchell Systems organically grows and cultivates the Awapui found in its many products. Let's catch up with the farm's caretaker, Harry McDonald, to learn more about this magical place. So I'm here at Harry McDonald. You've been running this farm for how long? Mm, about 35 years now. And what do you do like, on a daily basis? We keep the place looking beautiful. Yeah. We'll yeah. take a walk. I'll yeah. show you how we do it. Let's check it out. This is okay. Avapui here. OK, cool. And these bulbs, this is what grows up in it. And the Hawaiians used to squeeze that Wow. and put it on their hair as a conditioner. You put it in your beard? And you can put it in your beard, <laughs> nice. put it in your hair. <laughs> so what is it? what are the benefits of it? Um, it's a conditioner. It's got all the amino acids that are really important to hair conditioning and shampooing, and that's what they use. So. Awesome. And it grows wild. It grows very small. When it's growing in the gulches and everything, it's little like this, and it grows along the sides of the stream. But when we fertilize it, and we do it all organically here, when we fertilize this, it just grows bigger, and we get quite a bit off a square yard, much more than when we first started. His vision in his life was about this property. Uh, this property birthed the dreams that he always wanted to create. Self-sufficiency, creating a neutral carbon imprint on this planet. One thing I think we should touch on, never test on animals. Uh, well, that's my favorite. You know, again, I said my dad was the short-haired hippie. I'm not joking. And, and you know, back in these days, uh, nobody put that on a bottle. It wasn't even a thing. Yeah. Um, but it was my father's vision that, hey, together with John Paul, they both believed. This is important enough to be able to put out there because they really believe in protecting not just the animals, but, but the planet. What makes me proud about our business is that we are a company that does well by doing good. How many companies can you think of that can walk the walk and talk the talk? So I know there's a lot of amazing places on the uh, Aupui farm here. Uh, anything that's the most meaningful for you? The most meaningful place on this property has to be uh, my father's um, memorial down here. Uh, he loved this place so much, he wanted uh, to be buried on this land.
A Mitchell family trip to the Big Island would not be complete without a visit to the hydro-powered Kulavai farm. Not only is this the perfect place to recharge and unwind, it also provides a perfect backdrop for a style break with John Paul Mitchell Systems Artistic Director, Heather Kaanoi. Since the farm is located on Hilo, and Hilo means braid, Heather's gonna show us three simple braiding techniques using the Awapui product line. The first style is a rope braid. Apply the Hydro Cream Whip throughout the length of the hair for added hydration and a long-lasting hold. Divide the hair into two equal sections. Keep each section separate and begin to twist in the same direction. As I twist the hair to the right, I want to keep all of the hair coiled up into itself. Intertwine the two strands by crossing the right strand on top of the left strand and the left strand will go underneath the right strand. Continue this process until you reach the end length of the hair and secure with an elastic rubber band. Gently expand the braid for a fuller effect. Design the style with the beautiful flower and the anti-frizz hairspray for a medium hold. The second style is the waterfall braid. Use styling treatment oil to keep the hair polished and smooth. Start the braid on the fuller side of the natural part. Take a section near the front hairline and divide into three equal sections. Create an inverted French braid by alternating the left and right strands underneath the middle strand. Add hair from the base when twining the right and left strands underneath the middle strand. On the right side, only add half of the hair picked up from the base to twine underneath the middle strand. This creates the waterfall effect in this style. Continue to braid this pattern past the center back and secure with an elastic band and pin into place. Expand the braid by pinching and pulling the outer sides to give a fuller effect and to isolate the pieces of hair to emphasize the waterfall. For a finishing touch in the waterfall braid, use the anti-frizz hairspray for a medium hold. The third style will be a French braid set that will give you natural beachy waves when the braid is released. Prep the hair with the No Blowout Hydro Cream to give a soft hold and tame the frizz. Divide the hair into two equal sections. Begin on the right side and take a small section near the front hairline and divide into three equal parts. Create an inverted French braid by alternating the left and right strands underneath the middle strand. To keep the braid anchored to the scalp, add hair from the base of the scalp before twining the right strand underneath the middle strand. Braid the hair all the way down into the neck area. Connect both braids into one braid with three strands and continue the braiding process until you reach the end of the hair. Secure with an elastic rubber band. Allow your hair to completely dry before releasing to enjoy these beautiful natural beachy waves. After the most beautiful day at the office ever, it's time to relax and unwind by the fire with family and friends in true Angus Mitchell style. Feeling refreshed and renewed, we head back to the island of Oahu for an early morning hike overlooking the beautiful beaches of Lanika. It is for certain that Hawaii is one of the most epically beautiful places in the world. With inspiration everywhere, it should be pretty easy to get together tonight and discuss cut, color, and style ideas for this once-in-a-lifetime collaboration. What an amazing few days. It started at Buzz's, right? Those Mai Tais. Great to just see the craft of what they're doing there and put you right in the right vibe of being here in Hawaii. That's how you want to start a trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to get about this color uh, inspiration starting to get me tipsy, so let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so here's what I was thinking. Why not use the Mai Tai as the actual inspiration for the color? I love it. You like it? Yeah. Um, what I love about that Mai Tai is it's quite simple, right? There's not yeah. a lot of ingredients, mm -hmm. but there's different variations of those ingredients. So I think we keep our blonding placement really simple and traditional, just like the drink itself. And then we really look for those golden tones. You know, when we remember that my favorite part of that drink was a dark rum. Mm -hmm. That was a top 
that's where we should start. A little bit darker and just let it melt into those golden rums all the way into that little silvery, sandy, beachy rum towards the end. Um, I love the consistency of it, the simplicity of it. And I think it's just a beautiful, almost more of a, a, a toning technique than mm. anything. Yeah. Right? Let's talk haircut. What are you thinking? With my mind, I'm thinking something that's going to be long, that's past the shoulders, shattered edge. Um, and then what's inspired me here is really natural textures. So beachy, wavy textures. Uh, so removing the weight. This model has a lovely uh, little wave and movement to her hair. So I'm going to work a really nice layered, shattered shape. With our model, she wants to have kind of like a swoopy fringe. So I'm going to do something a little bit more uh, past the eyeball, a nice blunt, long bang and uh, something that can really help make that shape look a lot more modern. Um, I was able to find one of my father's uh, books here. It's called Super Hair 2, and this is what dad was famous for back in New York. This was his big school and his happening salon. Um, and I think you're able to find inspiration through things that have been done in the past. And if anyone has ever told you that they've invented something, don't listen to them. <laughs> I think it's already been done as we've always been able to work together, make it tasty, make yeah. it make it talk about what's happening now. What do you think about um, in the styling world? It's a shout out to the legacy products right? that started here in Hawaii. Yeah. Hearing you talk about weight removal in the haircut, it's going to lighten up the texture this model has. Nothing better than sculpting foam and hair sculpting lotion to bring that haircut to life. I'm going to take you guys on a journey to this most amazing place and um, what I want to do is I w actually want the model's feet to be in the sand and have the water overlap on her feet while I cut her hair. Oh, that's amazing. Does that yeah. sound awesome? That sounds good. Well, I'm happy to be a part of it. So I say we get our hands in some hair and our feet in the sand. Before we can hit the sand, we need to head to the Paul Mitchell School Honolulu to get our Mai Tai inspired color look started. First, we will need to pre-lighten Mackenzie's hair. Once the canvas is light enough, we can rough dry and apply our three rum-inspired colors. We will use a deeper color at the base, a more golden color through the mid-levels, and a sandy beachy color on her ends. When our color look is complete, we head back to Lanikai for a proper tour of the Paul Mitchell estate, a property Paul Mitchell never saw fully finished, but was a culmination of his hard work and dedication to the craft of hairdressing. Where better than for Angus to cut hair in the sand and have Heather create a finished style using the Paul Mitchell Original Legacy products? Hey, welcome! Hale Olanikai! Hey, man. Paul Mitchell Estate. It was designed through the Balinese kind of state of mind, separating different structures from kitchen to bedrooms. And then what you end up with is kind of like a Smurf village. Today, we have the privilege of working with island photographer Kiger Bowman to capture some stills. In true style trip fashion, we wanted to meet this artist and learn more from him about the art of photography. I've always wanted to ask photographers some questions. Now you're here, it's a perfect opportunity. On a beautiful property like this, or when you're on vacation, or when you have all these beautiful surroundings around, how do you choose the perfect place to take a picture? Great question. Um, sometimes it's, you want something beautiful like the mokes behind you, mm -hmm. but you don't want them so close up that people are looking at those rather than looking at you. Yeah. So I always say, if you want to take a picture of what's in the background, take a picture of what's in the background. If there's something in the front, that should be the focus. The other thing would then be, does it look goofy? Is there a palm tree behind you making it look like it's growing out of the back of your head? You're going to teach me, Angus, and Heather how to take the perfect selfie, right? Yep. All right, what are the tips and tricks on those? All right, safety number one. <laughs> Okay, don't walk off cliffs. <laughs> Agreed. People do it, you know? It's funny you have to acknowledge that, but you are correct. Safety yeah, number one. Safety number one, look where you're going. I always tell people, practice at home so you know what you look like. Some people like the left of their face, some people like the right. Once you know that, then you can kind of set shots up. Let's grab the team and take some selfies. All right. Extra long arms, baby. As a customer, I think it's really important to be able to work with your hairdresser. So with our beautiful uh, model, McKinsey, her main priority was to keep her length. So I worked with a concave layer to be able to establish where that length would sit. And then I started to work with a convex layer, working up the head. And then as I worked through the top, I worked with a disconnection called channeling. 
and the very last bit was her fringe. So I worked everything wet. That being said, with the fringe being wet, I made sure that it was extra long because I knew that the hair would actually react when it begins to dry and it would jump up a bit shorter. Now that Angus has finished his beautiful cut on Mackenzie, let's join Heather and see what styling tricks she has up her sleeve to make this cut and color come together. So Mackenzie, have you ever had your hair cut on the beach before? No, never. First time? Yeah. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right, let's get into it. All right. So now we'll apply one of our foundational products. This is our sculpting foam. The sculpting foam is a nice conditioning foam that is gonna hydrate the hair while it will eliminate the frizz throughout the day as Mackenzie's hair will dry and we'll see that nice natural wave come to life. Next, we'll come through with our hair sculpting lotion. I like to think of this as a muscle product, meaning this is really gonna help to start showing off our style as far as the texture and the sculpting. So with Mackenzie's new fringe, I'm really gonna focus to apply the hair sculpting lotion in that front area. We can already see that natural movement coming into place and I'm gonna work with what's um, coming to play right here. And this will really help to just give us a strong foundation and a hold to that style so Mackenzie can set it and forget it when she's working this at home. And this is where that fringe area stops, that new line that is gonna accentuate that cheekbone right through here. So a nice little sculpting right through here, and we're gonna allow that to dry in its natural formation. And lastly, for the back, we'll come through with the Super Sculpt. This is our styling glaze that also helps to reduce dry time. So when you're working through this with your blow dryer and diffuser, no need to worry about how much time you're gonna spend while styling your hair. It's gonna give you a quick end result, but more importantly, being a nice light styling glaze, we're really gonna get the texture coming to life here. And with all that layering in the back of Mackenzie's new haircut, you can really start to see more of that movement come to life. I wanna be sure that product is saturated everywhere onto the ends of the hair and also tying into the length of after where we sculpted. Now one added tip before you go through and diffuse on any of your style work, what I like to do is come in with a nice towel and we'll come through and scrunch any excess moisture out of the hair. And this will really help to start defining more of that movement and wave that Mackenzie has in her natural formation of her style. This is our Turbo Light Plus, and we're coming through with the diffuser attachment that's gonna help to circulate the airflow when we're coming through this style that's gonna enhance more of that natural texture. Great, now that we have Mackenzie's hair nice and dried, we can really see how that haircut Angus went through accentuates uh, that weight removal, still keeping the length, but now Mackenzie has more styling options to work with. I hope you enjoy your new haircut really and style. Do. Good. We started this uh, project with the intention of not showing you how to do something, uh, but showing you how creative people, what they're inspired by. And what better tour guide than hairdresser, the people that make the community beautiful. So to have one of the most beautiful spirits and people and personalities, uh, Angus Mitchell take us on his journey, has been nothing short of a pleasure. And hopefully we get to come work with more people and tell more stories. Um, every story is unique. Every person that's creative has a, a spark of inspiration. And what's so amazing is we want to be able to capture that little bit of that inspiration and share it with the world. So if you guys are inspired by this episode, if you're into what we did, um, hashtag your own work style trip. Um, and maybe we'll be able to see what you're doing and grow as a community, and maybe we'll come visit you. You never know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Style Trip Hawaii, and we'll catch you on the next one.